Hello and welcome to Dark There. Now, yeah, you can hear me good for once. I know, it's really strange. Um, so Life is Strange, Episode 4. Demetrius, uh, you've been saying a lot about it, so I'm expecting this to be awesome. Also, I was thinking about it, but the reason I probably didn't put much in the trailer is to avoid spoilers. So, yep, let's just jump into it. Did I do something wrong? Am I just... Oh, okay, never mind. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa! You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with! Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now! It won't work! I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Caulfield, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet! Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and beat it. Max, you better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello? Are you even listening, Maxine? It's this is here. totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. And a shock. So, what's the game gonna throw at us today? I don't know what I'm doing. A lonely bike. I'm ditched by a chav. You can see that uh, nearby there is a pile of sheet. Apparently. Pile of sheet with, uh, with nutrition. Oh no, it was a whale. Okay, never mind. the first time you've seen a beached whale on dry land though. Am I right? <laughs> that people joke. Oh, okay. Mm. Come on. If there's anything I want to get out of today, I want to find out why she ended up in a wheelchair. So it's why weird it? hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters. It's 
more than any of my other friends have done. And you oh, even no, wrote on that cool parchment paper. So lonely as well. It's so Max. So pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. So she just probably Max easier is just to write than to visit right? me. Because you didn't actually send any letters. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much, yeah. Hmm. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Different. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how Do you feel. know where Aster least, is? I'm alive here with you. Wait, we almost not fucking You're out. a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. But I can do what that. Happened? Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Oh shit, she was in a car crash? Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. A car. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Oh, Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... Ouch. And that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. Shit, she's totally numb. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Oh, fuck. Jesus. I, I I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. Rachel. So she's not friends with Rachel. You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? Such a different world After from like snow 10 minutes ago for you. Like the end of the world. It might be, but... I'd like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too. But I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. That was wrong. You're my best friend. Max, thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. She didn't use to. None taken. We don't know which Chloe I prefer, to be honest. I mean, she seems a bit of a goody two shoes, and a bit depressed too. At least the other one was just fuck the world. Uh. Car crash, fucking hell. Oh, some dick in the SUV. Fuck, how did I miss that? That was fucking Frank. Frank was in the SUV. Of course he fucking was. Ah. Oh. Okay. It literally just clicked. Well, it might not have been Frank, but I'm pretty sure it was. Oh, it's a pretty high-tech layer. Feels like a high-tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know Just it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. 
Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. No, you used you know, to be. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Okay. Or when doctors flip Oops. me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. Mm. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh. That's not what I thought you meant by drink on. Let's go get us a micro. Come on. Good old beer. Good old beer never did any harm. Snow globes are taking over. She's becoming one of them. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Well, snow dough is probably our favorite thing from her childhood. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. She likes fluffy animals that have been singed about from the face. Oh, do you reckon that was meant to be like that? Like, it was designed like that, not just a bear that looks a bit singed by accident? Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. She can't feel anything. Max, it is so cool that you're here again. I'm glad you think so. That's a serious heat lamp. So that's for when she gets cold, because she... I don't know. Because she can't warm herself up kind of thing. Oh, what was that? Drink up, buttercup. Oh man, no wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. <laughs> Boring. Ouch. Drink kindly, Drew. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. You sound like an adult now. Seems like we were kids in another life. Well, seems like yesterday. It does, but I want to go for what do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. <laughs> yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. <laughs> No way will I get on a fucking boat now. <laughs> Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. Which friends? Which friends did you hang out with the most? Megan Weaver, but you don't know her. She was cool. But after my accident, she was too cool for school. Oh, I know I okay. wasn't around much. No excuses. I'm a loser. Hmm. But I well, am didn't trying ask to make things like right. Though. How? Dude, you're not super max. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Are you lonely? It's a bit personal question. They love you. Just give us They support. love you so much. I know. My mom and dad are so cute. <laughs> they always pop in here and make sure everything's okay with me. I think Good. Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Probably was, yeah. Our insurance sucks. And the oh no, don't tell me your mommy problems as well. Can they pay? Can they pay all the bills? <sighs> no way. Oh fuck. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Holy shit. Chloe, you're priceless. Uh, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's I why I love you. One. Of course, I'm no a geek when I be one. No See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. And yes. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> what do you want to watch? Porno. Uh, <laughs> I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. Now let's get this show on the oh. road. And you better not fall asleep on Dropping me like hints. you always do when we watch movies. I remember, Max. I swear I won't fall asleep. She will. 
Not when you're here. But I knew she would. She has a good point. If she's like this excited about us being here. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb, a spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, like the butterfly thing. <laughs> so I've heard. What, you mean like a uh, big tornado causing the end of the world? Mm, well, maybe. You're really not. Oh, Nothing no, but I medical supplies. I missed it because I bloody did something over it. She has to use a lot of lotion to keep her blood circulating. Oh shit! This is getting fucking depressing. That oh, must God. be her mighty morphine machine. Mm-hmm. Probably is. Nope. There's the old Chloe. Whoa! Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. Use. Chloe is still a punk at heart, but she can't stage dive anymore. Well, she can throw a read chat. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. So what are you doing talking to you? Haha, <laughs> my shit. I'm about to binge on Quantum Leap. Oh my god, love. Okay, so she's a bit of a geek by the sound of that. So do you. I hope we can meet again soon. Wait, who's she though? I'm getting nowhere. Uh, not if you're in San Francisco, hey, have to take care of some body work. Let me get back to you while binging on Bacula. You better. Hello. Oh. And then she, oh shit. Did she abandon her too? Because there's no reply. She probably didn't, right? I mean, why would she have talked that long if she knew? I should offer to put makeup on for so. Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. Offering. Bored. Man, Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so... I should have kept more in touch. It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we have... You know we love you and you're in our heart and thoughts. We hope to see you smiling your smiling face soon. Please be well. Ryan and Vanessa Caulfield. Thank you to you. I wonder who this is. Dear kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. No I'm here for you if you need anything. I hope you feel better and I hope to see you again. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame, writing shit like I hope you are well, etc. I know your life is so different now. I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that will change soon. I hope you are well. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Mm. Well. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. You didn't, really, to be honest. Her, because she didn't have a dickhead dad, the dad brought her a car and fucking Frank crashed. It's Frank's Snow fault. Snow globes are taking over. Oh, I looked at that toy snow globes. Oh, fucking Frank. He's always got to do something, eh? Oh my god. I made that mix for her when we were 12. You were to power. Oh, here's the DVD. Right, put it in the DVD player. They make us watch this for bloody ages. Now what? 
So we both fell asleep. No, she didn't. She didn't fall asleep. She'd been awake all night. <coughs> I cannot believe you fell asleep so fast. You did, didn't you? How dare you? I know you were beat down after the day with me. And Blade Runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night. Uh, do you do you think Deckard is Blade Republican? Runner real? Sorry, I can see you're not I've wide awake with me. I've never heard of anything like no, Blade Runner. Oh, I'm sorry I, I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. <laughs> Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. Fuck, um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you, could you please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Okay, there might morphine be special injector. stuff, but I it's, feel bad. Uh, not getting it's total Star Trek shit. Straight. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Wait. So your parents don't allow you to have it? Why? What's the side effects? Okay, actually, yeah, it'd be fine. Damn, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. Overdue payment. Fuck. Ah, oh, I wish I could actually help. Like as Max, oh, I know sure. it, she's not real. So. It's great they finally went to Paris. But honestly, if a friend like this, I'd fucking. Give them money straight away to help. Just because. They gave Chloe their uh, giant expensive HDTV. And they use her shitty tube television. It's true, actually. She's got light, high tech, and much. <sighs> they put everything on the line for her. To it's think that nice. our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Mm hmm. Someone was gonna have a fatal accident. Yeah, she didn't die, but. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Jesus. Arcadia Bay Beacon. Beach dangers looking for the whales. Whereas the shores of Arcadia Bay once acted as a lovely getaway to the Pacific and beyond, now locals and terrorists face a sad, surreal image of great whales that unexpectedly swarm to land and to their doom. The whale pods were spotted early morning on Wednesday, October 9th, and within a few hours at least a half a dozen people were dead or dying on the shore. Smartphone footage does not reveal any unusual ocean conditions or excessive pollution. Meanwhile, ecologists and marine biologists from across the country are carefully studying samples from the whales and environment. The Prescott Foundation has vowed to provide extra research funds given the local scope of this eco-mystery. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Well, of course you would be. It's not really linked. Because it's not like Chloe made her go missing. Search for a popular team. Team? Teen continues. Blackwell on the student Rachel Amber has not been seen for over six months, yet her family and friends have only intensified. Hmm. The search for the... 18-year-old Arcadia Bay resident, police and FBI have few leads and little information in the case, which has been caught, which has caught the interest in national reality show. Where did they go? The Amber family has offered a reward for any information leading to the whereabouts of their daughter. 
For more details, please contact to help find Rachel Ember. Okay. Let's talk to a circle at. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. This letter is to notify That's you. It's terrible. That you are in default of your payment obligations to your home loan account 783. This current account holds the amount 12,000 payable by the amount has been overdue since March 1st, 2009. You have ignored the multiple requests to make a payment or reconsolidate your debt. Unless the full amount of 12000 was received within 15 days, you must begin the foreclosure process in your home. We have given you more than adequate notice on this issue and we have no other options left. Ah, oh, I fucking hate lawyers and shit. Hey, William. Um, am I bothering you? Why, yes, Max, I love going through bills. <laughs> Kidding. How can you bother me? I haven't seen you in forever. I know. Dad, not a dick, You look Dad. exactly the same. <laughs> it's so cool. Good. Or I'd be scared if I didn't look like me. <laughs> of course, you seem more adult now. So what's on your mind? Okay, room, Chloe, Joyce. Okay, room. I was impressed by Chloe's room and all the high-tech equipment. You should be. We could buy a few mansions for what it all costs. The insurance helps, but uh, I don't know, Max. I know it must be hard on you guys, financially. These bills are more like crushing. We have to mortgage our home, and that's pretty scary. But, but we'll get through it. Price is always right. Get it? No? <laughs> We'll talk about Paris trip last to it to boost. I don't know how to say this, but oh, it feels like a boost. I'm truly sorry about what happened to Chloe. Me too. All it takes is a few minutes to change a girl's whole life. Correct. But she's alive. She's been a trooper. Is she mad at me? Glad you're here. Ooh. Let's just have a check. Is she mad at me for not staying in touch? She should be. I have no excuse. She was disappointed, but she knows you care. And I know how hard it is to process all this. It's taken us years. William, I just want you to know that whatever happens, I'll always be here for Chloe. Always. I know you will, Max. Being around you and Joyce again is... Okay, this is... So... Back up. Nostalgic. Very old school, as they say. <laughs> I think it's great for Chloe to see you. Makes Joyce happy, too. So, it's not all bad news in Arcadia Bay. Or is it? Rachel Amber, Prescott family, crazy weather, crazy weather. What do you think is going on with all of this crazy weather and animals dying? Nobody knows, right? It is Nostradamus-type shit, pardon my French. <laughs> but all I actually care about now Shit, is Chloe um, and sorry. Joyce. My family. I was reading about that missing girl. Rachel Amber. Oh, yes. Yeah, she went to Blackwell, right? Ah, oh, poor thing. That's a real nightmare for a family. I get scared thinking about Chloe and that we might lose her someday. The Prescott family might be bad news. What do you think about them? Evil. Next question? <laughs> Sounds like you know them well. More than I want to. But Joyce has to work for those greedy bastards at Pan Estates. I don't even like to think about it. Pan Estates? I thought... Is Pan Estates the diner? So you finally made it to Paris. Oui, as they say. <laughs> Not me, because I Voila! can't speak French. But it was a great experience. Especially for Chloe. I can see her loving it there. You guys rock for going on a family adventure like that. She talked about going to school there, but that's not practical anymore. It's not fair, Max. I have to go see if Chloe needs anything. It was so great talking with you again. You act like it's the last time. And please, keep me from these bills whenever you want. <laughs> 